guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another video on HTML course for beginners from basic to advanced. In our previous videos, we have seen what does HTML stands for, what is HTML, which is the first page of any HTML program or project, what are the editors that we are going to use for HTML, the basic tags which are there or you can see the basic snippet or basic document of HTML, what are the contents of the tag, what is a tag and a basic program. In our today's video, we are going to start with the heading tag. So the heading tag is used to display the headings in your HTML document. And when you display these headings in your HTML document, they're going to vary in their font size from H1 to H6. The H1 has a certain specific font size which is greater than H2, H3, H4, H5 and H6. H2 is greater than H3, H4, H5, H6. In the same way, they are in the descending order of their font size. And note, there is no H7, H8 and so on. Because if you are going to use any H7 tag, that is going to result in the normal font that you usually see in your paragraph tag. So let us see these, how they are going to reflect in the browser. Okay, here we are there in our Visual Studio Code. Here we have our index.html where we are going to write the HTML content. So you just have to write HTML5 and you have this basic snippet here. Let us change the doc title from document to basic tags. Done. So here we are seeing the heading tags. So H1, heading 1. In the same way, I'm just going to copy this H1 and paste it six, five more times. This will be the H2, heading 2, H2, H3, H5 and H6. So let us see this in the preview tab itself. Show preview. Here you have the preview. So this is how you can write your heading tags you can use your heading tags in your HTML document. And these HTML tags, you can use them any number of times in your program or any number of times in your project or in your document. Any of the tags can be used as many number of times as you wish them to be in your HTML document. For your verification, I'll also add a H7. So you can see that it will be in the normal font and the normal structure that you see you can see, so this is a normal font that we usually have for a paragraph tags as well. Paragraph, hello world. So you can compare your H7 with your hello world. So it is the same thing that we have. So this is H6, H5, H4, H3, H2 and H1. So these have certain boldness and certain font size variation from H1 to H6. These are the heading tags. Let us move on to the next tag that is there. There is a paragraph tag offers a way to structure your text into different paragraphs. And these pa this paragraph tag can also be used for multiple times in your program. Next, we have a line break tag and horizontal tag. Line break tag is usually used to skip a line from a previous line. For example, if you have hello here. And if you want to skip the second line, if you want to keep it empty, and then if you want to print the world here, then you can use a BR tag. So this BR tag is used to skip a line from the previous line. And this tag is called as a self-ending tag. That means it does not have any closing tag. So itself, this tag itself is a opening as well as the closing tag. You can either write it in this way or you can write it in this way. In certain browsers, when you're going to see the outline, if you're going to add just BR, it doesn't show you any output. But if when you're going to add a front slash with the PR, then it is going to give you the out. And the next tag is horizontal tag. This horizontal tag is used to add a horizontal line in your program. Say, for example, if you're having a heading here, heading one and certain paragraph with that heading, paragraph to that heading and if you want a line between these two paragraphs and these two headings, these two contents, then you're just going to use a HR tag. It is used to draw a line. This also is a self-ending tag that means it does not have any closing tag. You can either write it HR 
or you can write it HR with a forward slash. Let us check this out. So we have a Visual Studio here. For the same thing, I'm just going to add HR. So you can see an horizontal line between H1 and H2. You can also add the HR like this. Both are perfectly fine. You can see that there are two horizontal lines between H1 and H2 and H2 and H3. So next, let us see the BR tag that we have. BR. You can see one line space is being left out between H3 and H4. So you can also write it or you can also try it with a slash. So you can see one more line of gap is being left between H4 and H5. So this is how you use your HR tag and BR tag. Let us hop on to the next tag. Next tag is centering content. So if you want to put some content in the center, then you, want, you have to use the center tag. Center, open and center close. Then the tag, whatever is there, it is going to come in the middle of your document. Let us check this out. Let us add the center for this H1 document. Center open and this center tag, that ending center tag, I'll be adding it for the H1. Now we can see that only the H1 tag that is there, we have that in the center. Next, there are certain tags. These tags are also called as a formatting tag. That is, they are going to add a certain format to your page. So the first one is the bold, which is going to give you the bold typeface. And for this tag, you are going to use the B tag, open B tag and the closing B tag in order to give it a bold interface. In order to give it an italic typeface, then we are going to use open I and the closing I tag. To give an underline to one particular content, we are going to use U open and U close. If you want to strike down it, this is how you're going to strike down it. So in order to strike it down or to give a line between the content, you're going to use strike open and strike close. And underline is going to provide you an underlined line for the particular content which is enclosed between the U tag. So let us see these things in Visual Studio. I'll just be adding here for a paragraph. This tag is this tag will give us B. Inside this B, I'll just give bold. Bold type. You can either use it inside the paragraph like this, or if you want, you can also use it directly like this. Just add B and I'll copy the same thing. I'll add the same thing. This will give bold type. Save this. Let us see the preview one. You can see. Only this bold is being given the bold typeface and the content which is written in B, it is being given with a bold type. Let us open this in the live server. You can either click on go live here or you can also right click and open it with the live server. How to download this live server? I'll be linking the previous video in the card. So here you have this bold type. Next in the same way, we are going to use for the italic. I'll just be copying this paragraph, copy it. I'll paste it above here so that it is easily visible. And this I'm going to remove it or I'm going to use I so that it is going to give us an italic typeface. Italic typeface. In the same way, we have underline and stripe. I'm just going to add them as well. Save it. Refresh this page. Now we can see the underline typeface as well as the strike the typeface. This is how you can use them to format your web page or to add certain styling to your web page. Let us hop on to the next tags. Next is a mono spaced font, large, small tag, large tag as well as the small tag. So mono spaced font means it is a type of font family wherein all the font, all the letters are having equal width usually in other families there is a no equal width given to all the letters but here in the monospaced font it is a special type this is the only font family which can be used in the tag format big is giving going to give you one size bigger than the usual typeface small is going to give you one size smaller typeface than compared to a to the normal typeface. Let us see them. Here I'm going to use the mono spaced in two types. I'm just going to use the name mono space 
in two types of tag one in the normal tag and another one in the tt tag i'll save this let us see the preview of this now if you're going to compare it with the monospace and the monospace here you can see m is having a more width than o n o s p a c e but when you're going to compare the m from O, it is going to have the same size. All the letters that are there inside this TT tag are having the same width size when compared to each other. But if you are going to compare it with normal thing, then these are going to vary in the width portion of each of the letters that are present in that particular word. This is the use of monospaced tag. Next, we are going to use the big tag and the small tag. Paragraph. This is going to give us large typeface. Save it. In the same order, I'm going to use for the small typeface as well. Save it. Let us see it in the preview tag. So here we go. So this large that is being added inside this big tag, it is giving us a some one size bigger than the normal typeface the content which is inside the small tag it is going it is giving us one size smaller typeface than the regular one let us see this in our live server so here you have monospace the large big tag small tag italic tag underline tag strike tag heading tag hr tag br tag the normal paragraph tag and the bold tag this is all for today's video we are going to meet you again in the next video with some more tags of html till then stay tuned and keep learning Bye bye